This is an upper body exercise that focuses on your chest muscles called pistons. To perform this exercise, you will only need hand paddles. Begin by facing the swim current with your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Knees are slightly bent, hips are pressed back, and chest is lifted, creating a nice long spine. With hand paddles completely submerged under the water and in front of the chest, start the exercise by pushing the water away and across your body. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace guidance set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is an upper body exercise that focuses on the shoulders called a lateral shoulder raise. To perform this exercise, you will only need resistance bands. Begin by facing the side of the endless pool with the current flowing towards the side of your body. Feet are in a lunge position, knees are slightly bent, and the chest is lifted, creating a nice long spine. Hold the resistance band in front of your body completely submerged. Start the exercise by pulling the resistance band away from the body until it reaches just above the surface and then return back to starting position. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise one side at a time for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Then repeat the same sequence of movements on the other side. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is an upper body exercise that focuses on the shoulders called an overhead shoulder press. To perform the exercise, you will only need resistance bands. Begin by facing the swim current with your feet in a lunge position, knees are slightly bent, and the chest is slightly forward, creating a nice long spine. Hold the resistance bands at shoulder height. Make sure that you are far enough away from the anchor so there is no slack in the resistance bands. Begin the exercise by pressing the resistance bands up and away from the body. Return the movement back to starting position. For beginners, start with a slow tempo and not so close to the swim current. The faster you go, or the further you step towards the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a lower body exercise that focuses on your legs called skips. To perform this exercise, all you need is your body weight. This exercise can be performed on or off the treadmill. Begin by facing the swim current in a standing position. Initiate the movement by lifting one knee at a time in a skipping type pattern. Make sure to engage your arms on this exercise to assist in performing the movement. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a lower body exercise that focuses on your legs called lateral bounds. To perform this exercise, all you need is your body weight. Begin the exercise by standing on one side of the endless pole facing the swim current. Lift the knee of the leg on the inside of the pole and laterally bound to the other side of the pole, switching legs that are in contact with the floor of the pole. Repeat the same movement going back to starting position. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. 
The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise called core sweeps. To perform this exercise, you will only need hand paddles. Begin by facing the swim current with your feet approximately shoulder width apart, knees are slightly bent, hips are pressed back, and the chest is lifted, creating a nice long spine. Stack the hand paddles completely submerged underwater and in front of the chest with arms extended away from the body. Start the exercise by pushing the water from left to right. Make sure to maintain a long spine during the exercise. For beginners, start with a slow tempo, shorter range of motion, and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise called single leg pikes. To perform this exercise, you will only need a kickboard. Begin by facing the swim current in a standing position. Hold the kickboard completely submerged under the water and in front of the chest. Start the exercise by pressing the kickboard directly out in front of the body while at the same time lifting one foot off the floor as though you were performing a standing toe touch. Reverse the movement and repeat, this time lifting the other foot off the floor. For beginners, start with a slow tempo, shorter range of motion, and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is an upper body exercise that focuses on the chest called a chest press. To perform this exercise, you will only need resistance bands. Begin by facing the swim current with your feet approximately shoulder width apart, knees are slightly bent, hips are pressed back, and the chest is slightly forward, creating a nice long spine. Hold the resistance bands at chest height, making sure that you are far enough away from the anchors so there is no slack in the resistance bands. Begin the exercise by pressing the resistance bands away from the body. The resistance bands should remain at the surface of the water at all times. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a lower body exercise that focuses on your legs called squat jumps. To perform this exercise, you will only need your body weight. Begin by facing the swim current in a standing position. Start the exercise by going into a squat position. At the bottom of the squat, accelerate upwards, pressing off the bottom of the floor. For beginners, start with a slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a lower body exercise that focuses on your legs called a lunge run. To perform this exercise, all you need is your body weight. 
Begin by facing the swim current with feet in a lunge position. Begin the exercise by jumping off the floor of the endless pool. At the top of the jump, reverse the position of the feet. Make sure to engage your arms on this exercise to assist in performing the movement. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise called pendulum swings. To perform this exercise, you will only need hand paddles. Begin by facing the swim current in the middle of the pool. Initiate the exercise by bringing yourself to a horizontal position on your stomach. Begin treading water with your hands, keeping your upper body afloat. Sweep your feet under your body without touching the floor to floating on your back, simulating a pendulum swing. For beginners, Start this exercise with a slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise consisting of two types of kicks. To perform these exercises, you will only need your body weight. Begin by facing the swim current with both hands holding onto the grab rail. Begin the flutter kicks by lifting your feet off the floor. Start kicking by initiating the kicks from the hips and not the knees. Now kick as fast as you can. For the second exercise, the scissor kicks, change the hand placement by placing one hand on the grab rail and the other hand on the side of the pole. Begin kicking side to side, initiating the movement from the hips and not the knees. These kicks should be long sweeps. For beginners, start each exercise with a slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform the flutter kick exercise for 30 seconds and then recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Then perform the scissor kicks for 30 seconds. Make sure to change the direction the body is facing, alternating between each round. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise called torso rotations. To perform this exercise, you will only need resistance bands. Begin by facing one side of the pool with your feet approximately shoulder width apart, knees are slightly bent, hips are pressed back, and the chest is slightly forward, creating a nice long spine. Hold one resistance band in both hands with arms extended away from the body. Make sure that you are far enough away from the anchors so there is no slack in the resistance bands. Begin the exercise by pulling the resistance band away towards the side of the pool. The resistance band should remain at the surface of the water at all times and arms remain fully extended. Rotate as far as you can possibly go and then return back to starting position. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Then repeat the same sequence of movements on the other side. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is an upper body exercise that focuses on the biceps and triceps by combining two exercises. To perform these exercises, you will only need hand paddles. 
Begin by facing the swim current with your feet approximately shoulder width apart, knees are slightly bent, hips are pressed back, and the chest is slightly forward, creating a nice long spine. Begin the exercise by pulling the water up, contracting the biceps. It's important to keep the elbows close to the body throughout the movement and in a static position. Keep the paddle submerged in the water at all times. Reverse the movement by rotating the palms of the hand towards the back of the endless pull, pressing the water away, engaging the triceps. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is an upper body exercise that focuses on the chest and back by combining two exercises. To perform these exercises, you will only need hand paddles. Begin by facing the swim current with your feet approximately shoulder width apart, knees are slightly bent, hips are pressed back, and the chest is slightly forward, creating a nice long spine. Arms should be at the chest height at the surface of the water with the palms of the hands facing forward. Begin the exercise by pulling the water, bringing the hands together in front of the chest, concentrating on the chest muscles. Keep the paddle submerged in the water at all times. Reverse the movement by rotating the palms of the hands outward and pressing the water away, engaging the upper back. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a lower body exercise that focuses on your calves called a calf raise. To perform this exercise, all you need is your body weight. Begin the exercise by standing on the side of the endless pole, holding the grab rail. Lift your body coming to the balls of your feet. The top of the range of motion should be when you are standing on your toes. Repeat the sequence several times. For beginners, start with a slow tempo. The faster you go, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a lower body exercise that focuses on the legs called leg sweeps. To perform this exercise, you will only need your body weight. Begin by facing the side of the endless pull with the current flowing towards the side of your body, holding onto the grab rail with both hands. Begin by lifting one foot off the floor until the quadricep is parallel to the floor and the raised knee is at a 90 degree angle, sweeping the lifted leg from left to right, pushing and pulling the water. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and shorter range of motion and set the pace at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Then repeat the same sequence of movements on the other side. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise called bicycle kicks. To perform this exercise, you will only need your body weight. Begin by facing the side of the pool with both hands holding the grab rail behind your head. Lift both feet off the floor and begin moving your legs in a circular motion as though you are riding a bicycle. For beginners, start this exercise with a slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go 
And the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core exercise called a seated leg extension. To perform this exercise, all you need is a pull buoy. Begin the exercise by sitting on one of the steps of the endless pull facing the swim current. Anchor the pull buoy between both feet with legs extended towards the floor. Begin the exercise by pulling and pushing the water, bringing the knees towards the chest and reversing the movement by straightening the legs towards the floor. For beginners, start with the slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. This is a core focused exercise called side plank knee crunch. To perform this exercise, all you need is your body weight. Begin by facing the swim current with one hand holding the grab rail and the other hand placed on the side of the pool. With the feet touching the floor of the pool and the legs fully extended, begin the exercise by bringing both knees toward the chest, simulating a crunch. For beginners, start the exercise with a slow tempo and the pace set at a low flow. The faster you go and the higher the flow from the swim current, the greater the demand on the working muscles. Remember to change the direction the body is facing as you go from one round to the next. Perform this exercise for 30 seconds and recover for 15 to 20 seconds or longer if needed. Perform a total of three to four rounds for optimal results. Many of us think that the only way to exercise in water is to go swimming, but there are so many exercise options beyond swimming thanks to water's natural resistance and buoyancy. You can achieve great results without the heavy impact often associated with land-based exercises. In an endless pool, water's natural resistance and buoyancy are enhanced by the convenience and versatility that can only come from the world leader in aquatic fitness. This series of workout routines focuses on exercising our core, upper body, and lower body. Using the Endless Pool swim machine, underwater treadmill, and other workout features of Endless Pools, we'll coach you through some fun and challenging workouts you can do in your own Endless Pool. So come on, let's get in the water.